Hi, I'm Rob Morocco, Global Head of ETFs for CBO Global Markets. I'm joined to you today with Stephen Galley, Executive Director of CDR Sales at CIBC. And we're here to discuss Canadian depository receipts. Stephen, thanks for joining me. Great to be here, Rob. Stephen, let's bring folks right back to the basics here. What is a CDR? Yeah, so a Canadian depository receipt or a CDR, it's a Canadian exchange traded security that gives Canadians the ability to invest in U.S. equities, but in Canadian dollars and with a built-in currency hedge. So CIBC has listed over 50 CDRs that track well-known U.S. companies. So uh, providing a range of listings that cover large gap names such as NVIDIA, Microsoft, Costco, Eli Lilly. As we've continued to build out the offering, sector representation has developed to help Canadians get exposure to sectors that typically we don't uh, have access to through the TSX 60. So most importantly, technology and healthcare goods. So the focus has been to provide Canadian investors uh, with a product that's had the same look and feel as an investment in a U.S. equity. And what's important to investors is to have a product that doesn't, doesn't just bring similar percentage performance as an underlying U.S. stock, uh, but also represents true ownership of that stock. And that's what you get through CDRs. So that includes similar dividend yield, which is very important to many investors in Canada these days. How should I think about, as a Canadian investor, how should I think about implementation? How should I think about utilization? Yeah, so what we're certainly seeing uh, from our audience of investors in Canada is use of the CDR product to really augment that Canadian dollar equity portfolio that we have. In Canada, there's, there's a phenomenon called home bias that certainly hits our portfolios with most Canadians being heavily weighted to our domestic listings. So CDRs are allowing investors to forego that FX conversion, uh, converting Canadian dollars into U.S. dollars to invest in those individual U.S. names and have, can certainly just put into place there uh, in their portfolios uh, uh, exposure to U.S. equities using their Canadian dollars in the CDR product. Future plans for the CDR lineup. Now over 55, uh, 50 products, as you mentioned, uh, trading average about $200 million a day notional. Uh, significant sometimes some of the largest, uh, most actively traded products and, or securities here in Canada. What's next for the range? Yeah, so we, we certainly hit some incredible milestones recently. Uh, we started the uh, 2024 calendar year uh, uh, at about $3 billion in, in assets, and we've actually doubled that since then, which is fantastic to see. The CIBC team has certainly been humbled in terms of the rate of adoption that we've seen. And uh, we, we definitely uh, aim to continue to grow out that offering of CDRs based on U.S. underlying equities. So we're consistently speaking with self-directed investors, investment advisors that adopt the product. And uh, we're certainly looking to see exactly where they want us to expand uh, when they're, uh, I, I suppose, when they're rotating their exposures to different sectors throughout the universe of names. Well, thank you so much. And to our audience, stay tuned to see what's coming out next uh, in partnership with CIBC and CBO. Thank you.